Hello there, and welcome to Women's Business. My name is Dr. Marianne Schalkos Smith, known to most as Dr. Daycare, and this is my co host, Amy Vogel. We'd like to welcome you to our mentoring program designed to educate our community on issues facing working women. We will be speaking to our guests in the areas of art, sciences, health, education, law, medicine, politics, community service, military, and business. The goal of the show is to provide information that comes only from personal experience and to pass this information down to our daughters, nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the content will relate to the guest speaker's journey in their profession, what they have learned most about this process, and what they wished they had known before this journey began. Since women-owned businesses are the fastest growing sector of our economy, my guests will close with what lesson they would like to pass on to the viewing audience. Thank you for joining Women's Business. I am honored and so excited to welcome to the show Avery Vogel, my granddaughter who's eight and a half years old, Nora Collins, and Annie Collins from a neighborhood in Cumberland. These are my very favorite shows to do. We do them twice a year, and we have children from Dr. Daycare and Kids Club and friends and neighbors and acquaintances come on the show, and we talk about maybe what it's going to be like someday to be a woman in business. But the good news is your parents are already women in business, so you have a lot of good things we can talk about but I really, really, really want to find out oh, a little bit about each and every one of you. Do you call yourself sisters? Is that what I hear? Yeah. So we have two biological <laughs> sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And then what do we call you? How do you connect with this friend sister? How do you say this? Just sister. Sisters, okay. I used to have a friend, Kathy Bishop, when I was a little girl in sales while growing up, and I used to be my sister. We were both nine years old together. We moved into the neighborhood, and we had a great time together. So I get that feeling. And today, we're both 66 years old, and we're still best friends. Twice a year, we go out to eat. So those friendships can go on and on and wave through your whole life, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So my first question to you is, what is your school? What school do you go to? I go to community school. You go to community school, and who is your teacher? Miss Farrell, or Miss, Miss, and Miss Pasco. Miss Farrell, Miss Pasco, in grade three. Grade three. And what is your favorite subject, community school? Art, because um, you get to just color. And I love coloring. You like coloring, don't you? I know when you come to my home to visit me, you color a lot. We have lots of coloring books and crayons, and you color a lot. You, and you know, from the time you were a little, little tiny girl, you always colored in the lines. And as a preschool teacher, I'm like, scribble, scribble. But no, you were always just coloring in the lines. Yes, you were. Tell me, what is your favorite color? Pink. Why is that? Because it's so bright, and I just like well, I'm glad I wore pink today. That worked out well, huh? Yeah. Is it this color pink or a different color? A different color. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Nora, welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Ve I am very well, thank you very much. And tell me, what school do you go to? I go to community school in Cumberland, Rhode Island. You go to community school in Cumberland, Rhode Island. And what grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. Fifth grade. Wow. Does that mean next year you go to middle school? Yes. Wow. My goodness. That's going to be a big step, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And a fun step. That's going to be absolutely wonderful. And do you have a teacher you want to say hi to in the fifth grade? Sure. Hi, Miss Thoreau. Hi, Miss Thoreau. And what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject in school is math. Math. Is that because one and one is two? <laughs> I just like solving problems and I love my teacher. You like solving problems. And that's all about math, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds like the, when you smile, you talk about how much you like your teacher. So she must be a really good math teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you learning now in the fifth grade of math? We are learning, I well, we just finished a test on Friday, but we were learning volumes, volumes and heights, and lengths, heights. and widths, and wow. so measurement. Wow. So when you go do go in and do math, it's your favorite subject. So you really pay attention, yeah. I bet. Yeah, it's great, great. 
and Annie. Welcome to Women's Business. So happy you're here. Did you go to community school too? Yeah. I thought so. What grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade. So we have three, four, fifth grade. This is pretty cool. And what is your favorite subject? I like science. You like science. What do you like about science? I like the experiments that my teacher does for me. And I like my teacher because she's nice. Say hi to your teacher. Hi. What's her name? Mrs. Canassis. Mrs. Canassis. And you do science experience in the fourth grade? Really? Can you tell me about one of those experiments you've done? Um, we're doing isopods and mealworms. Wow, I didn't get to do science experience when I was like in a junior in high school. So this is fantastic. They're doing science experience in the fourth grade. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, anything else you want to tell me about your school? Um, no. No? No? Do you guys ever see each other at recess? No. no. Different recesses? Yes. Yeah, it goes by grade. Oh, what's the grades? How does that go? So, all the classes in kindergarten have lunch. Then they go to recess. Okay. Then it goes first, third, seventh. Okay, so they do it by grade level. Get it. Well, they sometimes mix it up. Yeah. Oh, sometimes it gets it mixed up. up and gets set up. Yeah, yeah. Great. So, my next question to you is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Annie, can I start with you? Sure. <laughs> I want to be a teacher. You want to be a teacher. And do you have a teacher that you know in your family? Yeah. Who is that? My dad. Your dad. Let's give a shout out to your dad. And how about your mom, too? <laughs> there you go. That's fantastic. And what type of teacher would you like to be someday? Um, like kindergarten or first. Kindergarten or first. You know what they call that? They call that an early childhood teacher. That's pretty cool. I never met one so young who wants to be an early childhood teacher. That's fantastic. Wow. And what do you like about kindergarten, first grade, that you want to be a teacher? Um, they're just cute, and I'm small, so. <laughs> yes. So you don't mind helping kids zip up, zip up their jackets? No. You don't mind help put on their boots? No. Great. Then you'll be a great kindergarten teacher. Absolutely a great kindergarten teacher. Oh. I actually wanted to be a teacher, too. You both <laughs> want to be teachers? Yes. You're going to give a shout to your parents, your grandparents, or someone, too? All righty, all righty. And why do you want to be a teacher? Um, I like teaching like little kids mm. or kids who are younger than me. Mm -hmm. And yeah. What grade do you want I to teach someday? Maybe like second or third because I don't want it to be too young where I could like get, I don't know, just like people closer to my age. Yeah, or closer to your age. And so if you could be a teacher tomorrow, let's say you could be a teacher tomorrow. What would you teach the children in your class? I would teach them math. Math, it comes <laughs> around again. I'll tell you that is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You know how important it is that people and kids know math, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. You'd be a great math teacher. Thank you. Thank you. And Avery, what uh, would you want to be when you grow, grow up? I want to be a teacher too. We have three future teachers. And One, two, three, future teachers. That's wonderful. I would want to teach first grade. You would like to teach first grade? Because I just like having fun with little kids. Having fun with little kids. And what do you think first graders want to know? Um, I would want to teach them reading. Reading is very important, yes. Because I those are some of my favorites. Yeah, reading is one of your favorite subjects along with art. So you'd like to teach young children how to read. Do you have a favorite book that you ever read? Um, no. No, no one's favorite. How about you? Or have you ever had a favorite book that you would like to tell everybody about? Um. Or you can have more than one. Mm -mm. No, no favorite book? Annie, do you have a favorite book? Um, probably, but I don't really. That's okay. Like. <laughs> Next time you come on the show, you can all share your favorite book. How's that? Okay. Kay. Great. So you're going to be a first grade teacher, and you're going to teach reading. 
And do you think the kids are going to like you as a teacher? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the kids are going to like you as a teacher? Yeah. Absolutely. I can tell you all. You could change your mind as time goes on. That's okay, too. But for today, if you were teachers, they would be lucky students to have you as a teacher. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about your parents. I know your parents pretty well. <laughs> yeah. And I certainly have met your parents several times, and they're wonderful people. So let's talk about your moms. How's that? What does your mom do? What, what type of business is your mom doing every day? My mom works for a nursing home. She works for a nursing home, so she's a nurse, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. What type of work do you think your mom does at a nursing home? Um, like an educational. Educational, yeah, educational nurse, absolutely. Yeah, did your mom like her job? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your mom likes her job? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And tell you want to tell me a little bit about your mom? And say mom, but yeah. your, your perspective of her? My mom is a nurse practitioner, and mm -hmm. she's also a clinical educator. Tell me a little bit about that. She teaches, like, lower-level people who want to become a nurse, and she wants to teach them how to be one. So she instructs people on who would like to be a nurse someday. Yes. So she teaches them how to become a nurse. Mm -hmm. Well, that is really amazing work. That is really amazing work. And we need nurses. So your mom is a teacher to teach them to be a nurse. That's a great instruction. And she has all that wisdom. She's done it for so many years. So she has a lot that she can teach future teach, um, nurses. Absolutely. How about your mom? What does your mom do, Avery? She works at Dr. Daycare. And what is Dr. Daycare? It's... um. A child care center. Yes. Yeah. Does she like her job? Yeah. Good. That was a good thing to say, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking with you. And who does she work with every day? You. Me, yeah. So I'm the lucky one. I am totally lucky to work with a, your mom every single day. It's a privilege. It's a privilege and an honor. Really. She's a knows a lot about child care and the child care business. She truly does. And she balances her life, I'd say, very well. Much better than what I did. Got to give her credit, huh? Let's give three shouts out to all the moms. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, let's talk about dads. Ready? My dad is a history high school teacher. History teacher. You must know a lot about history. I bet you you do. I've been with your dad. He always has a history story. And that was not my best subject in school. They really didn't teach it back in the 60s. So I like to learn a lot about history. Do you have one fact you can tell me about history? Um, one thing. George Washington was the first president. There you go. That is fantastic history. George Washington was the first president. We got some history happening right between yesterday and today in Paris. Anyone know what's going on in Paris right now? Um, I think the, the Notre Christine. Dame, yeah, the yeah which I've been yeah. to a couple of times. The Notre Dame um, church has is pretty much burnt down. Now that is history. Eight, eighth century. Not only I don't tend to know this, but because I watch the Today Show, I know these pieces. Eight centuries it's been around and it caught fire, um. but it looks like they're going to be able to um, restore some of it. Want to tell a little bit more about your dad in history? Um, he is a history history high school teacher. Um, yeah. Do you have a piece of history you want to share? Um, I don't really know if this is history. I That's think it's okay. more baseball. But Jackie Robinson was the first to create a. He was the one who created a path for African Americans to start baseball. That's a great piece of history. Absolutely great piece of history. Right on. Almost just everything can become history, isn't it? The best part about history is just knowing and putting all the years and centuries together. It's pretty neat. Now, does your dad like his job? Yes. Yeah. Dad like his job? Yeah. 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 Let's be gifted to be a mom who's a nurse and have a dad who is a, a teacher. It's pretty special. I like to be in your home sometimes. You must get to learn a whole lot. What does your dad do, Avery? He works for the Bank of America. Yes, he does. And wh what was yesterday your dad? 
What happened to your dad yesterday? It was his birthday. It was his birthday. We want to say that. He's younger than your mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma loves to say that all the time. <laughs> Look at mom's reaction, huh? Isn't that great? <laughs> Happy birthday to your dad. Yes, yes. And tell me one of your favorite things that you do with your dad. Um... I get to play games with him. You get to play games with him, yeah. Do you cook with him? Yeah. Yeah, which I, every time I go over the whole show, always a cooking something up. Yeah, what's the last thing you bake together? Or? Um, I don't know. I had a piece of lemon cake yesterday. It made me think of all these lemons. He, he sent it to work, mom brought it into work. It was delicious. Did you help him bake the cake? No. Well, he did it on his own, <laughs> but it was very, very delicious, I want to tell you. So my understanding is you all play in the neighborhood together. You're all friends, right? <laughs> so when you get together and you play, what what are some of the things you play? What do you do? We play. Um, yeah. We like play games together. Games together. What games do you play together? The preschool game. <laughs> the preschool game. People are watching. Do you want to tell them what the preschool game is all about, Abe? Um, so Nora is the teacher, teacher. and um, me and Annie are the students, and in the game my name's Ashley, and Danny's name is Alyssa, except instead of teacher we say teeper because we're only in kindergarten. <laughs> wow, wow, and what, do you, what does she teach you? Um, um, like... The alphabet. Yeah. The alphabet. Yeah. Every preschool, absolutely. And we just like run away. Yeah. We run away. Oh, so they just really children in the class. Yeah, we have. How do you get them back? How do you get them back, Dora? Um, I usually will bribe them. Or get something. the bribe yellow them. Lamborghini. Yeah. yeah. Oh the wow! Lamborghini. I'm coming to your class. That but sounds it, like fun. It's actually like a yellow school bus. Yeah. Pretend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a pet? What is your pet, Annie? I have three. You have what? I have three, but I have three. Three? Let's say about three. Um, I have two dogs, Bandit and Bella. Mm hmm And I have a hamster named Zippy. So you have a hamster and two dogs. Mm-hmm. Nora, who takes those dogs for a walk? My dad usually. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. Yay dad, yay dad. Do you help with the dogs? Do both of you help in the house with the dogs? Yeah. What do you do? What do you do for your pets? I feed them. You feed them. I let them out. Yeah. And sometimes I'll play with them. Wow. Well, what type of dogs are they? Um, Bandit is a mutt, so we don't really know what he is. <laughs> and then Bella is a long-haired dachshund. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you know how old they are, Annie? Um, are they older than you? Bella's six, oh. and Bandit's like ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> so older than you a little bit, huh? He was there before you were there in the house, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Eve, I know you have Buddy. Buddy followed me all the way home from Louisiana. Your dad was in Afghanistan. Mom and I drove from Louisiana to Rhode Island, and Buddy was a little tiny puppy. We bonded. <laughs> How old is Buddy now? He's going to turn 13 soon. 13 this month, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Bud's a good dog. What do you like best about Buddy? I always, I get to play with him. Yeah. Like, yeah. And he goes to bed with me. He goes to bed with you? Wow. And who feeds him? Um, sometimes I do. Right. Does who, who walks him? Or take him for a walk? Who takes him for a walk? Um, we don't really take him from, for walks. Oh, he do it in the backyard, doesn't he? He has the whole yeah. backyard to run around. Yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Does actually take him for walks? Or? Mm -hmm. No, no. So are you any clubs? Do you do anything after school? Do you do anything on the weekends? I think I've been to a piano recital. Didn't I go to a piano recital once? You still take a piano? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. What song are you playing? Um, I play o Ode to Joy. Oh, wow. Um, I play all different songs. Do you? What's your favorite song? Um, the easiest one I'd probably say, like, Old McDonald. So. Old McDonald. Got it. I guess. Got it. Old McDonald. Are you still taking piano too? Yes. Yeah? What's yes. your favorite song to play? Um, recently we've been playing the trumpet song, oh, the yeah. Jeremiah Clark. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that one was probably my favorite one favorite so far. One? Anything else you're doing? 
We do dance on Wednesdays. Dance, Wednesday Irish Thursday. step, right? Yes. I've seen those recitals too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you just recently run a recital? E well, we danced at the library for a Harry Potter day. Oh, wow. Wow. So. Wow. Do you practice at home together? Sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fun, yeah. yeah. I, like, that was fun when I went to the recitals for the um, Irish dance. I had never been before. And it's really nice to see everyone with the moving along and together and smiling. It was pretty cool. I took you to a couple of, when you went, I took you to a couple of practices too in um, a couple of the classes. And what is your favorite thing to do, Avery Bogle? Cheerleading. Cheerleading. Absolutely. Why is that? Because um, I get to do a bunch of flips, and I love doing that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. How many, like, how many flips do you do? Um, I can do three in a row. Three in a row. Is there a number you're supposed to be doing? Like, as you get older, I have no idea. I'm learning. Um, you can do as much as you want. Oh, uh -huh. as much as you want? Yeah. And were you recently in a competition? I saw on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah? And how did that go? Good. Yeah? I won second place and third place. Second and third place. Your team did a good job, huh? Yeah. And how many, um, how many girls, there's any guys on your team? I saw one guy when I went to saw you practice. Mm -hmm. Are there any guys on your team? No. So how many girls are on your team? Um, my whole team is girls. Um, yeah. I have 16 girls on my team. 16, wow. And how many girls take I and guys take Irish dance with you? Um, maybe like 17. Wow, wow. Pretty yeah. fun. Okay, now we're going to my favorite subject, food. You guys like food? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me, Nora, I'll start with you. What is your favorite food to eat? Um... I don't really have a favorite food, okay. but my favorite like fruit is oranges. You like oranges? Yes. That's your favorite fruit. Mm -hmm. Wow. So if you could go home tonight and say, hey mom, hey dad, cook me, I say supper, I'll say dinner. Cook me dinner. I would like to have, what would you say? Um, pasta. Pasta. <laughs> I just got back from Italy. Ah, it's pasta city. Yeah. They actually have signs that said everything about pasta. Every color of pasta you could think of. Every texture of pasta. It's pretty good. Yeah. So oranges, and if you could pick tonight, it would be pasta. Yeah. Yeah, great. Annie, what's your favorite food? Um, like, maybe like candy. <laughs> candy? Yeah. A and, certain type of candy? Um, it depends on if I like, like it or not. Yeah. Um, and I like um, if you had a choice tonight and you went home and said, Mom, Dad, I want you to cook, what would you say? Tacos. Tacos? Really? You like tacos? Yeah. Wow. What kind of tacos do you like? Um, I like the soft shell ones. The soft shell ones? Do you ever have a fish taco? I don't think so. No? You like the beef ones? Yeah. Yeah, you like beef tacos. So maybe it's school, vac it's school vacation week, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So maybe you can get pasta and tacos this week. You never know. Sometimes you just ask for it and it, does t it tends to happen. You just never know. If not, I'm sure you'll have it in the next few months. Avery Vogel, do you have a favorite food? Yeah. Yes, and what would that be? Ice cream. Ice cream. You all live near what? Ice cream machine. Ice cream machine. Like I hardly ever knew it existed until you moved to Cumberland, Rhode Island. That's all I hear is the ice cream machine, ice cream machine, ice cream machine. And what is your favorite ice cream? Let me guess. Can I guess? Mint chocolate chip. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. She also likes Nutella too. What is your favorite ice cream? Um, probably like vanilla. Was vanilla. That's mine. Mine's no. vanilla too. Yeah. How about you? What is your favorite, Nora? I like raspberry chocolate chip. Raspberry chocolate chip. I've never had that in my entire life. I'm going to try that. Do you get that at the ice cream machine? Yes. Okay, next time I go to the ice cream machine, I'm going to ask for a raspberry chocolate chip. That was good. And if you could ask your parents tonight for dinner, what would you ask them to make you? A hamburger. A hamburger? And what would you like for the sides? Um, French fries. French fries and a hamburger. Traditional American meal. Yeah, yeah. And if you could decide that you want to make something or a snack or dinner or breakfast, 
what would you choose to make it? Um, probably Nutella with some sort of fruit. With some type of fruit. And when you sleep over my house, what do you have me make you? Um, cookies. Cookies, but now what for breakfast? What do I do for breakfast? Pancakes. Pancakes, absolutely. When Abe sleeps over, we make blueberry pancakes. That's been the menu for probably seven and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? What is your If you could make any food, what would what would it be? Breakfast, snack, or dinner, or what would it be? Um, I would probably make like chocolate chip muffins. Ooh. Or like chocolate chip pancakes. You and I have something in favor is uh, together. It's called chocolate chips. My favorite sounds like your favorite too. Yeah. Annie, what, would, what snack, breakfast, dinner, lunch? What would you pick? Maybe like fruit salad or something. Fruit salad, yummy. That's really good. It's very healthy too. Absolutely. And I was asked. We got like two minutes left, and I was um, asked to ask the question: Who your favorite singer is, or your favorite band, or your favorite TV show? You can pick. Nora, do you want to start with your favorite singer, TV show, or band, whatever? Um, I like Taylor Swift as a singer. Yeah, she does. She does a wonderful job, doesn't she? What's your favorite song that she sings? Um, I like... A few different ones? Yeah. 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 That's how I feel about my favorite artists. It's, there's so many, they blend together. They're all so good, you know? Yeah. Annie, do you have a favorite TV show, a favorite singer, favorite band? I don't really have one, but when I was little, I used to like Pink. <laughs> pink, yes, absolutely. What did you like about Pink? Her songs. Her <laughs> songs, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So today, no favorites at this point. But when you're a little kid, it picks Pink was it, huh? Yeah. Abe, do you have a favorite TV show, a favorite singer, or a favorite band? My favorite singer is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift too, yeah. What do you have a favorite song that she sings? Yes. Which one is that? Endgame. Endgame, great, absolutely. So we're both ready to end the show, and I want to say one more time, this is one of my very, very, very. We have such wonderful shows. We do one a month, two shows every once a month, and this is one of my favorite shows that we do twice a year. And I cannot thank you enough for coming on the show. And I hope in the future that you'll be back. Do you think you'll be back? Yes. For another show, Nora. Yes. Yes. Annie, you will. You promise to come back again? That would be so absolutely wonderful. And before we end, is there anything you want to say to people out there who are watching you? Um, anything at all, you can say it. Thank you for watching. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you for, for watching. That's a great ending. Nora, do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> no? Maybe Vogel? No. Okay, well, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want to thank these three wonderful young ladies for being on the show today. Thank you very much.